So this is my first time ever trying stained glass out, so I thought I would draw up a design and then try to make one for reals, cutting out the glass and soldering it, then try the fake way to see which one I like better. sponsored by Squarespace. So I got some stained glass, some soldering iron, uh, foil, solder, flux, and pliers, and a file. And these are the colors I'm working with. So first thing I'm gonna do is draw out the design. I wanna do those letters in black, and I wanna do them in this font. And so I just started tracing out all four of those letters, Salt Lake, Utah, SL, Utah, S-L-U-T. Um, and when I started tracing them, I realized it was really big. So we're going to try it again just on this one sheet of paper. Then I got a ruler to make it nice and rulermentary, rudimentary, straight, G nice and ordinary. Also, those are JMO's hands. My sweetheart friend JMO helped me out with this project. So you'll be seeing his hands a lot. So after I did it in red, I traced out in black. And then I crossed out the lines I didn't want to cut. So I remember and did that on all of the letters until it was nice and perfect. And then I needed to cut lines out uh, from the outside. It's like, you kind of don't want too like difficult shapes, otherwise it's gonna make it real hard. And then I colored it to make sure I did the right colors. That one was the wrong color, I wanted to do that one clear. Marked it clear and white, and then began to cut out each individual shape, and then organized them into colors. And we're gonna start with the black one. So take some rubber cement, I'm just gonna glue the back of those papers and glue them right on top of the glass. Let that dry and then we're gonna cut them out. So just in like big pieces to save as much glass as I can. So I'll cut that first line and then use those pliers. Boink, and did that along all of those four little, four little sections, sure. The first thing is we're just gonna cut them out and then try to cut them to shape. And getting as close as I can to the paper which I didn't really do this first time. Oh, also have those pliers. You want the curved edge going down. So it's like a little rainbow on top. That wasn't a very good break. That was a better break. Mm, that's an okay break. Mm, okay break, uh, whatever. Same with these ones. You want the curved edge to be on top. So it's like a little rainbow sitting on it. And I like those pliers so much more. Also, I didn't get that one as close as I should have. So on this next one, I made sure I was real close. And even now, like uh, retrospect, I could have gone closer. It just makes it so much easier when you're filing them. So just went through all of those shapes and cut them all out and time to file. So this would take forever. I have a little like file grinder that I got from Harbor Freight. It was like 40 bucks and that did help speed it up, but I broke a bunch and had to recut them. So it's good. I had that leftover glass and had to re break them out, file them all down. And with that, I just wetted the paper and then peeled it off and cleaned off the glass, made it nice and clean so I could foil it. So I did that with all of the black pieces. Salt Lake, Utah. And to foil it, just want to center it right there on the edge of the glass and roll it on there. Make sure it's nice and tight. And then I took like a round edge, it could be like a pen pencil I using a knife to make sure it's nice and flat. And then you can cut up and like clean up some of the edges um, with that knife and do that to all the pieces. Then I piece together like a puzzle and there we go. Now to paint it with the flux, this helps uh, the solder stick to the foil and also flow better and just did like little, um, uh, just like kind of the cross sections of them to kind of hold it in place and tack it down so that it won't move around. Jim was helping me with the flex, which made this go by so much quicker. Um, but yeah, so I'm just getting those little joints there so it doesn't move around. And you can also do like some of the, like the longer pieces too. Just, you just don't want to move on you. Then with that, I began to solder the whole edges and piece them together. It wasn't working too well. Thought maybe if I changed the soldering iron, it would be better. It wasn't. And it just was so messy and I thought well I'll just cover it up 
and make sure it's all covered and then go back through and clean them up and that didn't really turn out to work out very well so that's how that's how that turned out now time to do the fake one but before i do so huge huge thank you to this sweetie it's all thanks to her that i am able to relax here on this beach with ease of mind she has taken care of my online shop and like all the marketing all the fulfillment and made it super easy where i don't have to do basically anything and because she takes care of it i can sell anything i want on there they say don't mix business with pleasure but um it's hard not to with her um she's there for me 24 7 if i have any problems and also it's so easy to just adjust her to fit my needs and she's that way with everyone so that's why i'm always recommending her to everyone so flexible and adjustable she'll be perfect for you so squarespace love it they're great they're my go-to place for my e-commerce because it's so user-friendly i was able to get up my my website and my online shop in one night and then they also have all the tools to market it. And then with their email campaigns, they make it super easy to reach your audience. They also just released an app that will create um, like things for your social media, little videos, whatever, press stuff. And of course, with their word 24 seven customer service, it's hard not to love them. And you can actually make a free website today by going to the link in my description. And then when you do decide to purchase something, don't forget the coupon code Schmood to get 10% off that first purchase. So the fake one, you just need glass, some Elmer's glue and acrylic paint. That's all. So I take the Elmer's glue and this is going to be like the solder line. So I use like this metallic acrylic paint, put it in there and mix it up. Take the frame off, just use the glass, just put that glass on top of the design. And then with that little mixture, just go along the edge Ugh. as if you're soldering. Good job. It was really, really messy and kind of fat there. And so you can wipe it off. But honestly, we're gonna go back through with a knife once this dries and clean up the edges, so it doesn't really matter. So I just did the border there. Now let's see how it looks. Eee, pretty squiggly. So I'm just gonna use this spare piece of glass and put a little line there so I can test and see if it dries. It's not dry, so let's hit longer. And now it's dry. So like I said, I just went across with a straight razor and try to like clean up the lines, make it nice and tight. And honestly, Loki surprised at how well that worked. There's the last piece, and voila. So with that, I took the glass cutter and just cut it to the border because I'm trying to make it look identical to the stained glass one, the real one. So just broke off the edges, and now it's time to paint it. So I'm using the real one as a reference, and it's going to be clear Elmer's glue and acrylic paint. Just paint it on in. Oh, I should have painted this on the back side. It, it was like super hard to like try and not to like not paint on top of the fake solder lines so if I would have just flipped it around that would have helped out so much so look on the back side and it was like nice and glass looking but needed another layer of paint so I did that real quick a little sloppier and looks pretty good could have used one more um, but I think that's good to kind of compare them so I I feel like I know some ways I could make that fake one look even more real, like maybe foiling the solder lines. But when you hold up to the light, I mean, it's definitely not as good. I think I can get away. I think I'm going to do another video where I do just how to do the fake one to make it look real. But yeah. All right, so be sure to like and subscribe. Go ahead and hit that bell notification. And...